Now, President Bola Tinubu has assured Nigerians that the pains experienced as a result of government's reform is temporary and that despite the pains, Nigeria is witnessing a leap forward. President Tinubu was speaking when he had a bilateral meeting with President of Brazil, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, on the sidelines of the 37th session of the African Union Summit holding in Addis Ababa. The president explained that his administration is investing in critical sectors like healthcare, education, and agriculture to ensure the welfare of all Nigerians and create sustainable economic prosperity for future generations. The Brazilian leader commended his country's relationship uh, with Nigeria, recalling that both countries once had a trade volume of more than $10 billion in the past, which has now plummeted to $1.6 billion. And talking security now, at least 12 persons have been killed, seven injured and 17 houses raised by armed bandits who invaded Dutse Gindi community in Kaju, local government area of Kaduna State. Sources say the incident occurred around 6 o'clock Sunday morning. This development comes barely a week after three persons were also killed and 30 others kidnapped in Guada community of Igabi local council. Governor of Kaduna State, Ubasani, who sent a delegation to Guada community after the attack, directed the State Emergency Management Agency to assist the affected communities. The Nigerian Red Cross Society Lagos State Branch has recognized and celebrated the invaluable contributions by some members. Amidst the backdrop of solidarity and gratitude, the Lagos State Branch Chairman, Dr. Adibola Bakari, noted that this is not merely a ceremonial affair, but a reminder of the profound impact these individuals have had on countless lives, both locally and globally. A representative from the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sanwuli, said this will encourage others to promote humanitarian causes and foster community resilience. Some of the awardees were the former First Lady of Ikiti State, Irelu BC 